time ago in a galaxy far, far away, there was a motion designer who had to separate dimensions. Epic intro for great new feature in After Effects. It's not a big change eh, in terms of programming of, or, or yeah, complexity, but it's really something that you will appreciate, I think, if you are like me. So since the new version 22.4.0, which is the beta version currently for, for After Effects available, you have uh, the possibility to separate dimension by default. So how do you do that? Very easy. So let's go to the preferences, edit preferences uh, general. And then you will find a flag uh, the default position properties to separated dimensions. So if it's not checked, uh, nothing changes uh, comparing to the current version and older versions. But if you check this uh, flag and then click on OK, once you create a new layer, a new whatever layer, a new null object, and you press P for position, you see that you have the two um, properties now, X position and Y position, instead of one single position properties. You can still go back to the uh, old uh, version, so if you uncheck separate, dim separate dimensions, you see that you have one uh, dimension again, so it's up to you to decide what is the situation that you feel more comfortable in, uh, if you are used to uh, animate uh, one single dimension or both dimensions. If you have um, both dimensions on the same uh, property, you will find yourself uh, using the speed graph uh, more often, uh, while uh, if you are uh, more used to animate uh, one single uh, dimension at a time, it's uh, when you will uh, use the value graph uh, more often. So it's really up to you on your way of doing, but also on the kind of animations that you are going to do more. If you need to, for instance, if you may have to make a ball bounce, you will use this uh, separated dimensions because the X uh, position will be a linear movement, while the Y position will be the, the bouncing of the ball. So that's uh, a great uh, change for me and for many others. This is a change that have been wait we have been waiting for years. So uh, if you want to play with it, just download the beta version of um, After Effects, and uh, it's still unknown when it will be uh, promoted to, to to production version. So yeah, depends on the feedback. So give good feedback to Adobe to have it in production as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Great, uh, and see you soon. Or not, because I forgot to, uh, to tell you that if you enjoyed this video, you can put a like uh, on the bottom and maybe subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so that you are notified when you have new videos from me uh, talking about uh, After Effects and uh, motion design and animation in general. I'm also very interested in uh, data visualization, uh, so maybe you may be interested in my script uh, bar bar chart, uh, who, where you can do uh, bar chart races uh, in After Effects directly with the click. It's very easy to use uh, and uh, have a look uh, on the description below. You will find a link uh, with a discount code. So thank you very much for listening to me and see you soon.